Guitar Collector Guy presents the Epiphone Les Paul Special 1, P90, and TV Yellow. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. Recently during the long Labor Day weekend, I also picked up a used Epiphone Les Paul Special 1, P90, and TV Yellow. I own an Epiphone Les Paul Special and TV Yellow, and I also own a Gibson model as well. You could say that I'm kind of a fan of, you know, the guitar type. I saw a used Epiphone Les Paul Special 1 P90 for only $129. It regularly goes for $149, which to me is still kind of wild after actually getting an opportunity to play with this guitar. This guitar, someone had dropped it, and it had a cosmetic flaw on the bottom side of the guitar. I saw the pictures, and to be honest, was glad to take the $20 discount for what I was getting. Overall, I expected I would get a guitar that sounded like crap and needed to have the pickups and electronics gutted and replaced. What else would you expect from a $149 guitar? What I discovered was actually a big surprise to me. The pickups and the electronics are actually great. What was not great in the guitar is it has a nut that's made from PVC. It has horrible tuners, the wrong control knobs, and the absence of a pickguard. These are all I could find that I needed really to upgrade. The nut I replaced from Tusk um, was only $12. The knobs, basically about $9. The tuners are a direct Clusen made replacement I picked up from Stewie Mac for only $42. The pickguard I made myself from an old Gibson Les Paul Special pickguard, and I'll explain about this later. My upgrades totaled $63 not bad at all. So basically $129 and $63 and I have an amazingly playable, fun, great looking little guitar. I first replaced the tuners. This was easy as all I had to do was remove the screws for the factory tuners and replace with the Clusen tuners. I even used the same screws and sleeves that were from the old tuners. The new tuners are 10,000 times better in my opinion and just how they function and work. They're much higher quality. And if you do not change anything else out on this guitar, you need to do the tuners. I did not need to do any drilling or do anything other than take out the old tuner and insert the new tuners. Next came the nut. I really like the Tusk Knots. This is my second Epiphone that I've installed one in, and I would characterize this as probably one of the easiest nut replacements I've ever done. The only thing you have to do is take a piece of sandpaper and remove a little bit off the front of the nut that faces the fretboard so it slides in properly. Next, I glued the nut in place with water-soluble wood glue. The width of the nut was perfect, and so were the string slots. I quickly changed out the knobs. I did not have the exact replacement knobs, but the ones I installed were pretty close and looked a lot better cosmetically. The last thing I did was take an old Gibson Les Paul Special pickguard and I cut about an inch off the side that faces the control knobs with my Dremel. I had to do this because otherwise it would not have fit. I had to sand a bevel on the side that I had cut with sandpaper so it looked like the other sides of the pickguard. Last, I drilled a new hole in that side and then drilled the three holes into the guitar and inserted the screws. I have to say, this guitar is a blast to play and looks great. I never profess to be a great guitarist. My background is garage and punk bands. I'm a bar chord banger. I love guitars and I love to play. It's one of the most freeing things I've ever experienced. I wish I had had this guitar when I was young. It would have been one of my main guitars. I cannot go wrong with recommending to anyone a guitar that only costs $149 that has all of this. It has a great finish. The neck is great and plays as well. The frets are flat and smooth. The electronics and pickups sound great. I fixed the tuners and nut, which are functional, and cosmetic, the knobs and pickguard. All in all, this thing rocks for the money.
Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.